The last part of this video will cover two concepts for scenarios, creating a pass-fail exit situation for events, and a return point for restarting an event after a missed turn or a failed event. To explain this, I will use a basic diagram of the intersection we've been using for most of these scenarios. We have our two checkpoint waypoints. Waypoint 1 already exists in the scene at 200 meters, previously used to display the prompt to go through the intersection. We will leave the message as it provides the direction for successfully completing the event. The second waypoint will be used as a pass exit condition for successfully following the directions for the event, which are simply to cross the intersection. I have added two barricade objects to the scene as well. These will be used as collision exits in the fail exit condition for making a wrong turn. Hitting these will return the user to a point before the initial waypoint to try the event again. This scenario will be designed to allow for repeatedly retrying until the event is completed successfully. So let's start. You can see the edited scene with the new barricade objects. We need to make these able to interface with our scenarios, and to do this you must click on the object. Now, choose the option Scriptable. Press OK to close this menu, and then repeat the process for the second barricade object, again choosing the option Scriptable. Now, open the plan view. Zoom into the intersection. And as you can see, there's already the existing waypoint at 200 meters. We're going to add a second one, and if you notice, the diagram is reversed from the plan view. That's okay. Right-click, choose Add, and then Add Waypoint to Road 1. We're going to adjust this to 300 meters just to keep it clean, and then click Add again. And then under Command, choose Checkpoint. Click OK to exit the editor and then OK once more to exit the plan view. Now, open up the Scenario Manager by going to Edit and Edit Scenarios as we've done in the past. We're going to copy the original tutorial scenario, then choose Edit, and rename this to something such as Return Scenario. Choose OK to confirm the name, and then edit once more to open the editor again. We're going to start by adding two new events. We'll title the first one, return fail for the fail condition of the message event, and then the second one as message pass for completing the message event successfully. Now, choose to edit the return fail event. Since this is our restart event in case of failing, we must use it to launch a new vehicle. We will leave most of the options the same, except for this time we will choose to launch it at 175 meters, only 25 meters behind the message event prompt. In the options previous vehicle, we must choose to delete the vehicle previously created so it does not continue autonomously. Now, going to the Multimedia Models tab, choose Add. For the model type, choose Message Model. And then we'll just type a simple message. I chose to write Miss, leaving the dark red font and centering it on the screen. You can test this like normal. And then click OK once you're finished. And add a two second duration. Click OK to exit the editor. Now, choose the Message Pass event and click Edit. We're going to go to the Multimedia Models tab and then Add. We'll choose Message Model as the model type and then simply write the word Good. I chose to use a dark green background and then center it on screen. You can test it like normal, then click OK when you're finished, this time adding a 3 second duration. Click OK to close the editor. Now, select the message event and add two exits. We will set the first exit to Return Fail, and then we will choose the second exit to Message Pass. For the Return Fail event, we must add an exit condition. 
we will choose Collision. Leave Simulation Vehicle as the target model and under Argument 1, click Add twice. These will be for the barricades. Click on the top one and then choose Edit. In the list, scroll down and select Scene Model. Barricade 1 is selected by default, but verify it in the list and click OK. Click on the second one and then choose Edit again, again choosing Scene Model as these are objects in the scene which you are using as collidable event exits, and then choose Barricade 2. Click OK to close. Now, choose the Message Pass Exit. Click Add to add a condition, and we'll set this to the new waypoint. This was created again at 300 meters, so when you successfully complete the message event, you will pass this waypoint, and then it will direct you to that new message pass event. Next, choose to add an exit to the message pass event. We won't set this to anything, but we will add a temporal exit condition to simply end the scenario after 3 seconds. Off to the side, you'll see the options when the exit conditions are fulfilled. This time we will choose End the Scenario. Now for the last step, you must choose to add an exit to return fail, which will loop this back to the message event. So select Message. We will add a condition, like before, choosing the initial waypoint at 200 meters as the start event originally had selected. Now, verify with each of the new events and exits that the option End Event is selected with the exception of the message pass, which has End This Scenario. Click OK to close the editor, and now close the manager. Now choose the scenario from the list at the top and choose to play. As you drive, you will see the message prompt telling you to drive through the intersection. This remains unchanged from the original tutorial since it satisfies the needs of this scenario. When you turn and collide with a barricade, you will be reset just before that message prompt to try again. This will happen until you successfully complete the event, seeing the message good, and ending the scenario. Though you may not always choose to have an infinite pass-fail loop, this was simply the design for this tutorial. This wraps up this video covering many of the different common events and exit types.